Will we be richer or poorer? Will it definitely happen? Why haven't we left yet? How will trade work after Brexit? Trade in action at the port of Felixstowe. When we talk about trade, we simply mean the amount we buy from and sell to the rest of the world. How will it be affected by Brexit? Well, to get an idea of where we're headed, it's worth taking a look at where we are now. OK, let's have a closer look. The UK sold £616 billion worth of goods and services to the rest of the world last year. Of that, we sold 44% of them to the EU. Now, we imported or bought £642 billion worth of stuff from the rest of the world, and of that, we bought 53% of it from the EU. So, does that mean that they need us more than we need them? Not really, because the EU, of course, is much bigger than the UK. Of the EU's total exports, the UK made up just 8%. So what happens next after Brexit? Well, this is the tricky bit. Lots of options, lots of acronyms. EEA, FTA, WTO. Now, you can disappear down alleyways of complexity with all these different permutations, but the basic principle is this. The closer we stay to the EU, its market, its rules, its regulations, the easier and cheaper it is to trade with the EU. But the harder it is to make new trade deals with some of the fastest growing economies around the world. Now, the government's preferred position, the so-called Chequers deal, tries to tread a middle ground between all of that. They want no tariffs on goods, close cooperation on services, close alignment on rules, no free movement of people, but importantly, freedom to make our own trade deals. Or we could just leave with no deal at all. Clean break, fall back on World Trade Organization rules. We're then talking big tariffs on things like cars and meat, and this is the one that businesses fear. They think it would be the most disruptive and the most expensive. Now, a lot of people say it's impossible to forecast what's going to happen in 15 years' time, and that's probably right. So let's forget about the numbers, but just consider this, some say. The UK already exports £100 billion worth of stuff to the US every year. There is no trade deal there. Germany exports four times more than the UK does to China every year and manages to do that from within the EU. So do you need to leave the EU to do more trade with the rest of the world? This kind of crystal ball gazing is difficult. The government and other forecasters don't have a brilliant track record. But one thing seems widely accepted and intuitively right, and that is if you make trade with your nearest and biggest market more cumbersome and more expensive, and that's got to result in an economic hit, at least in the short term. It may be decades before we really know whether leaving the European Union was good or not for UK trade.